So before we can even get started, we have to finish laying our floor because when we originally did this, we only did this section over here. We made our back wall pretty because that would be what was on video. But we've had to rearrange the garage. So we're having to move things around now and therefore our refrigerator is moving and everything. So we're having to finish everything. Phase one of the bench, done. Now on phase two of the bench. I only had one nervous breakdown where I wanted to kill somebody. Did it all backwards. And it was me. Where did you, what was that? <laughs> it was just my head. <laughs> We're still going though, no problem. She's crazy. Okay, phase two of Olympic bench done. It took me forever, lots of getting frustrated, but we have the pieces, quit. We have the pieces for the actual bench to sit on, it's fall. Phase three. Shoot me. Oh. <laughs> Is it on now? Me got new tools. I don't know how to do it at all. Oh, oh, oh. You put together a big weight system. Are you? Are you done? Yeah, done. Okay, phase three, done. That one probably was the most uh, trying of my nerves because I couldn't get these stupid little bench pads on. You have to like put the screw, the bolts up in there and then I couldn't get them to meet with the actual part that it goes into inside the bench and yeah, so frustration. Um, we need tools, couldn't find our tool chest, so like Philip was saying a second ago, har har har, he had to go get all new tools in order to finish doing this. Here we are like, what, two hours later? My floor is done. He finished his floor and I'm still on a bench. Just saying. Now we have to do at least one more piece of those tonight. We'll see how it goes. Maybe two? Huh. Maybe two of us will go quicker. Okay, the main section there is up. Mr. Vanna is making sure it's sturdy. And it is. It is. <laughs> Here we go, more. That, that Actually, that part went pretty fast. I would say maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes Lots tops. Lots of big bolts, that's all we had to do. Lots of big bolts. Mm -hmm. All right, phase four. Nightmare. 
Everything's been easy till phase four. <laughs> well, it was because of me, I'll be honest. Um, I have dyslexia of reading directions, I've learned. So I thought it went in one direction and it really went another direction. So then we'd get it together and then we'd have to take it apart and then we had to redo it. So yeah, that that took way too long. Way, way too long. And it Phil, blew our minds. Phil didn't kill me, but uh, yeah, that was he hurt my feelings a couple of times. I won't lie. Oh. But you know, it's okay. Phase five. That doesn't hold it onto that thing. We are on day two of this, move Peyton, of this little thing here. As you can see so far, we have whatever that is. I'm assuming that's going to be the squat section there. We have the part for the preacher curl set up. We have the bench set up. And we are starting to work on the lat pull down area. However, we had a little bit of a tavu because our bolts that they sent us did not go in. They were too big. So we had to go this morning and we took that piece, that big gray piece there with us to Lowe's to invest in some new bolts. So, body- 88 cents this company costs us. Body Solid owes us. 88 cents. Yes, 88 cents now. Wah, wah. Okay, problem number two of the day. Actually, I guess it's really only problem one of the day. Um, we got the bolts that we needed, but now the pillow mechanism that goes on there is not wanting to go on to the other thing. I know my terminology is amazing. I know. Um, so yeah, so he's getting a bit frustrated right now. We'll see if we make it. You have to use a weight to make weights. <laughs> It should not be that hard. So what you're saying is... Let America know that body... He's solid. Solid. Has some issues. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Officially mad. Ooh, this is your mad face? Yeah. <laughs> I'm only smiling because I got it in. The other one's popped on. This one doesn't actually fit. We had to force it on. And even then, it doesn't look like it's still all the way on. It is. I can hammer it a few more times. There's still a little bit of a gap there. Just a hair. I'll get it, don't you worry. Quite flush. You're nothing but a face. Yeah, nobody wants to see my face. Actually, when we screw it on, we'll probably have it up. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's kind of a... <laughs> hey, where's the other flathead? What flathead? You gave me too many... No, I gave you two. Oh, I see. That's our little helper. She's learned what a flathead is, and a washer, and a nut. Yeah. So, I used the wrong bar last night. Read directions properly. Um, what I've learned through this experience thus far is I really suck at reading directions. She wins. Oh. <laughs> this got in my way. <laughs> Who put that there? So, these little bars. They actually tell you which one to grab. Here. They um, come in different sizes. And I was told to use the 20 inch for this thing. I did not measure it. I guesstimated on it. And I guesstimated wrong. I used a 23 inch instead of the 20 inch. So when we got to the part in the back, 
for the lat pull down section. It called for a 23 inch and all I had was a 20. We couldn't figure out why it didn't work. So we had to come back to our existing. Well, luckily this is an easy thing to take apart. Thing here, well, luckily, yes. Except for the fact that. I put end caps on. These lovely end caps were already installed on it. So trying to get them off was a little bit of a. Um, it was a little trying. A little bit of issue. But we got it. And as you see. I remember saying that I'm not good with tools, but, and that was true. However, I've been able to fix every one of your problems so far. <laughs> oh, my problems. Uh -huh. So, okay, here we go. We got the right bar, so it's now putting it back together again. We like to do things twice. What are we doing? Something about the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Align a pivot point of press cam with pivot hole and then slide the shaft in. I can do that. <laughs> That's, so dirty. That sounds like <laughs> my kind of instructions. Yeah, okay. And, oh, it's that thing. Okay. Alright, we're going to get rolling again. Okay guys, so, the main piece of the body solid is now together. So the only thing left to do is to install the... Displaying good uh, high uh, eating with my energy rock star. Okay, so all we have to do is the squat rack, but let me show you what we have. We have preacher curl here. Oh, that weighs a lot already. That's enough for me. I don't need weights. Then please lean back. We have Pull down, so I can't pull it right now because it's not connected to the right thing. But that's where you would do that. You can go that you way. Could flip you around. Flip around and, go. and there's a nice little leg thing there. So this there. would be in front pull downs. The other one would be behind the back, behind the neck pull down. Mm -hmm. Then over here, I don't know. We got a pulley system here. Yes. So stuff will connect to that. You can do one arm rows, you can do whatever. Turn around and do chest presses. You can do you can do your incline chest press here. With your handles. You have, yeah, you will. You watch. I'll be able to no. Row, we're not sure. We have to read the manual. Half of it doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense to me. This is where our bench that I built right here it will go here and you will lay on it and you will be able to do chest press except that when you go to chest press these are going to go up in the air so do we have pins that go through here oh that's what those are for we just figured out what some of our extra parts are for those will go there to lock into place <laughs> All right, so here we go. Chest press, right well, there. That whole thing moves together. Oh, oh cool! We were thinking it was gonna go pop, pop, pop. That's right. This All arm right, is not so, as loose as it should be, but that's okay. Look how awesome that is. We just figured out. Watch. This is what I feel like about it. So, if you do decline, no. rows. Right rows. But you could also lower it if you want to do your decline chest press. Yeah, because the bench lowers, right? So that you wouldn't be that low though. How cool is that? Can you do? Can you do oh yeah. Bicep curls. Oh, and it keeps proper form. Look, it locks those elbows right next to the side. And you only come right to there. A lot of people start doing one of these. So there's your bicep curls. Oh, cool. This is going to be an awesome machine once we. Uh oh. Uh oh, can't do that. Yeah, you can. Um, it's going to be different. The other way. The other way. There you go. Oh. 
do some shoulder presses. If you just lean a little bit. You yeah, there you go. And this is hitting, wow, it hits way back. Your rear nice. delts. That is really nice. Yeah, because where I'm coming with it keeps the arms back. A lot of times when you're doing free weights, you get them out here and you start doing more of a chest. That's nice. I can feel it in my shoulders already. Okay, and that's with no weights attached and he's tired already and winded. Then back here. I wish that was the least one. This is where the weights would go. So this thing, to make that work, you have to. This is, I think, the only part that's going to be a little bit more difficult is yes, how you attach all of this back here when you get ready to do your lap pull downs. But that's well, okay. Well, you have to have weight on there because this, this thing actually weighs more than the bar itself. So see, that's actually moving the lap pull down up there in the front. And so you attach it when you're not using it. When you want to use it, you'll attach it down there. And then that's where the weights, the weights go. Also, the cable system is attached down here to when you do the weights. So you can do that. So we're going to go get a little bite to eat. And then when we come back, this will be the last section that we have to install here, which will be the squat section. Nice. There you go. But that's pretty cool, right? So this was, again, the body solid. It has not been one of the easiest things to put together, but a lot of that was our own doing. I think it's been pretty easy, technically. My doing. We have learned that I'm very dyslexic when it comes to, um, I never really thought of myself as a dyslexic person though, so that's really weird. But I look at a, the pictures and I flip them in everything that we do. Even like when I would tell him how the parts go on, like on the, on the actual um, bolt, and then the spring, and then the washer, I would tell him backwards. So I don't know, maybe I'm dyslexic, I don't know. That was really weird. Anyway, we're gonna go get a bite to eat. When we come back, we'll do that, and then uh, yay, it's almost put together. I'm excited about this machine, because like I said, you can do where the preacher curl section was, you can do, um, you should be able to do your leg extensions there. I don't know how yet. No, leg extensions is on your Oh, that's right, on the, on the bench that I built is where we do that, so. Yeah. Where that one is, you can do curls as well, supposedly. No? Well, I don't know. I don't know if you can do, I don't think so. Without racking yourself? Yeah. Wham! No, because you have the weights going to be on here. This is just strictly a Smith. That's okay. So, when we get back, we'll do that. Lunch time! Ah! Alright, so we're finished with the silly machine. Again, this is a body solid. Um, this is called the what? Something weight. Leverage system. Leverage system. Um, everything that you see here is going to work on um, plates instead of having a cable. The only cable system, again, is this one right here to where you can do uh, rows here. You can do the whatever. Lots of different things there. But the final piece that Philip hadn't shown you yet is my favorite most excited part of the entire machine that I was really waiting for. This is the leg section. So this is where you'll be able to do all of your squats. So you get in this bad boy like so. Lean it back, lift it up. This locks into place. Got your handles here to hang on to. And then you squat like it's hot. Squat like it's hot. And then, if you want to do a reverse hack, you can flip it around, lean forward, and down. So this is super exciting. Also, you can flip back around, and you can do your calves. So you stand here, and that's way you can get the full extension of your calves. So I'm excited. Yes. So this makes me happy, happy, happy. It's got all of the different adjusters too here. Different stuff that you can do. So if you want to do the chest, triceps, you can do all that with all of these cool little accessories. It's got one for your ankles. So you can do cable kickbacks with it. 
So yeah, excited. Um, the only piece, like I said, that's missing is gonna be our bench that's over there. It'll go here for your chest section. But other than that, totally nice piece of equipment. I will say that. We'll see how it works. We gotta go get plates now. <laughs>